Time Store. My name is Melissa. My husband Dan and I, we live in Zambia and we work with Beyond Ourselves. When thinking about connecting with our local community, I'm struck by how often I think we complicate this for ourselves. I think sometimes there's a sense that this will be awkward for us or unnatural. Yes, we want to push out um, into our local communities, but at the same time, I don't think that it has to be all that awkward or all that unnatural. I'm home quite a lot these days, between homeschooling and working, which our offices are on the same site where we live. Um, I don't get off, off the site very often, uh, but I try to really connect with my local community by baking for my neighbours. So often I ask my boys who's on their heart to bless, and so we have that idea and then we bake and then we give the gifts of cake or of cookies or whatever it may be. Sometimes we make, make a card as well. It's often just one Bible verse or maybe it's just a simple word of encouragement or hope. When we first locked down, my son Ben, he wrote in a card for our neighbour just the simple words of God will take care of you. And my neighbour approached me a couple months later and she said that that was actually a word that she really hung on to in the first months of lockdown. So it really can be very simple and very natural. My husband Dan, he connects with the local community in really different ways. His work and his projects, they take him to all sorts of different places. But what I love about Dan is that he very simply values people along his way. He takes time to listen, he takes time to have conversations with people. And I think that that's a really valuable way of connecting with our community. The other way that he does it is that he is passionate about is supporting local businesses and again I think this is a great way to to connect with our communities. I know that many people in the UK um, have the joy of shopping online these days, uh, even your groceries, but what about just making a point of buying one thing locally? Maybe that's the meat from, that's your meat from the local butcher. What about going in there once a week and just asking how the staff are doing? And I really believe that even behind masks, we can smile and we can start a conversation and we can take these short moments of connection and actually make, really make a difference. So in these times where connection is difficult, yes, and complicated often, yes. But at the same time, I think we can take these short moments and we can really um, expand God's kingdom and show God's love to those around us.